Well, for anyone who reads Alexandra Fyodorovna's correspondence, it will become obvious that she really was far from cold and haughty. Her personal writings show that she was a very caring person, in fact. She was, uh, to those that she loved, her friends, her family members, and especially her ch children. She reveals herself to be a very loving, loving individual. She was very involved with her children and in the notes to them, she appears as a loving mother. And the one thing that I thought about when I was reading her correspondence to her children was that she seemed very, very much ahead in her parenting style, more 21st century than early 20th. For example, she directly supervised at least some, actually a lot of her children's studies, and um, even though they had tutors and she didn't have to do this, she was still very involved. She would directly get involved in um, them learning languages, for example. She would have them write her notes and letters in different languages uh, as a learning exercise and um, she would respond to them in the same language but she would tell them uh, give them her corrections and her feedback but she did it in a way where she was very encouraging and she praised them for the things they they did right and the children wrote back to her and from their letters spontaneous letters you could really tell it was very obvious that they adored her and that it wasn't just something that they wrote to her. They really did feel this way about their mother. So she, she definitely was not a cold person the way she's often portrayed. I'm not really sure why, why she's portrayed to be that way. Unfortunately, she is. And hopefully, as more and more publications come out with her writings, especially to her children, people will change their minds about her.